there's a lot of things about frogs that make them particularly suited for looking at skeletal evolution because frogs have a really interesting and unique skeleton. My primary interest is in evolution and specifically looking how development plays a role in the evolution. But I also look at um, trying to understand the evolutionary history of different groups and trying to recreate that history to understand how different frogs are related to one another. They have very few vertebrae. They only have about eight vertebrae, where uh, most other vertebrates have a lot more than that. Most of those vertebrae are fused up, and that gives you more force. You don't want a, a really limp spaghetti back when you want to try to project in force. The bones in the head are not, not huge. They're mostly rod-like bones, and that, that reduces the weight of the head. Frogs certainly don't have really big brains, and about the only thing that's big in a frog is usually its eyes. It is really a jumping mouth with big eyes, and that, that's about it. <laughs> but in general, frogs have a pretty light head, which makes a lot of sense. If you're gonna, if you're gonna jump, you don't want a bowling ball on the top of your body, because that's gonna make it difficult for you to traject. When we move back from there and we get to certainly the backbone, Frog also has some things to make it jump further, jump longer. And the end of its vertebral column, we really we have something called a urostyle. And the urostyle is really a long bone that, that is almost like a tail, but it's on the inside of the frog instead of on the outside. This thing seems to work almost like a, a counterbalance in that the, the hips of the frog are actually attached just about almost in the middle of the spine and then you have these elongated hip bones that attach at about this point. And so what we end up having is almost like a, a, a movable joint that allows the frog to spring, boing, so like this. Okay. But then we add to that the fact that they've actually added an, essentially an extra segment to their lower limb. So you think about us, we have the femur, we have the tibia fibula, and then you have you know, your foot, and your foot is made up of some tarsal bones and some metatarsals and some phalanges. The frogs have taken some of their tarsal bones and elongated them to make them almost as long as the tibia fibula section. These bones essentially are an additional limb segment. Now what that does for you, it's almost like winding up a spring. So rather than just having two segments and thinking about us when we do a power jump, they take an additional segment plus their long feet. And so it's almost like recoiling a very large spring and then throwing that out. We add that to this, this hip structure that they have and that fused vertebrae. They can, they can you know, jump 10 times the size of their body.